Hello everybody, welcome to round three of the uh, cross-platform cup, PC versus PS4, the, the one that everyone's been waiting for, I guess. It should be the closest one, I guess. Um, this is match number one, Muldripster for PC against uh, Sergal of PS4. And wait for this to go right. So he started with a movement, that's, that's good for him and good for us. So... Muldripster has gone for a Claw Palm Storm Vermin, a Claw Mighty Blow Tackle Storm Vermin, Blodge Guard, Rackle Dauntless, Wrestle Strip, Dirty Player, and a Block Show Hands. Starting with him in reserve, I like that, so that he's definitely fit for the second half. Only need three, rule of five, which works perfectly, doesn't it? Um, so... Yeah, I think I think Mull's team is great. Probably the best you can build a Skaven team for this format, which was like you know, fifteen hundred TV with some skills. Um, the Dark Elves leap. I don't I don't really like leap on agility three, agility four, but still I guess look, war dancers are great because they have leap as well. So it's okay having wrestle having leap on, on the wrestler, um, and wrestles fine obviously. Dodge sidestep, mighty blow tackle, dodge block, dodge dodge. Maybe, maybe he's maybe he's dropped the sidesteps for more blocks, but you know I'll wrestle. But it's fair. It's, blodge step is amazing anyway. This this you know guard. I would maybe blodge guard on this guy, but it's fair enough in it. You got two guard and, and a mighty blow is what you want, isn't it? So I, mean, I don't know about this one though. I don't know about leap tackle guard. That seems a weird player, but fair enough. Not bad, is it? It's not bad. It's not actually cross-platform uh, dark. It's the cross-platform cup, but we're all, we were all just playing on PC, uh, so it was like it was five, five PS4 players, five Xbox players, and five PC players, representing the various platforms. Five of the best. I would say I would say five of the best PC players, five of the best PS4 players. And the five Xbox players <laughs> got, got together to do a tournament. And I've just realised that I didn't have this on. So now you don't know if it goes to overtime or not. Yeah. So that's, the, that's good to have that there. So you don't know if it's going to go to overtime or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The the cross platform cup was played on PC. So everyone who had it just had to play on PC because PC is the best. Thus, winning the argument before it started. <laughs> So he split his team a bit here, it doesn't really matter too much. If it was a bash team, maybe his mole might have intersected him here. But Mole's just gonna take the I know how Mole plays. He's just gonna attrition it. Like, you know, maybe if it had been a bash team and he'd had the nice he'd had a really nice opportunity to uh, to uh, Xbox didn't lose 5 0 5 0 Xbox lost 5 0 4 1. <laughs> Xbox did win one game out of ten. Uh yeah, Mole's all about the attrition here. And I don't like, I don't like how he's exposed here. I think maybe. I don't mind the foul because I know that Ducky and Mull like to like you know steamroll teams. Um, but I think what he should have done was move this guy out to protect the pom, and then move this guy in. But then I guess this guy's protecting the the gutters, isn't he? And he does have a mighty blow tackler. So actually, but then the mighty blow tackler gets to hit this one anyway. So. Yeah, maybe, maybe protect the, maybe maybe move him first to protect that. But uh, that was a gym foul, yeah. And and that you know that does happen. Obviously, that does happen to Mull and and uh, that does happen to Mull and Ducky sometimes. But that's the thing by going for the by fouling crap players early, um, then it gives the chance of a snowball. It gives the the attrition snowball because sure he's a nobody but if he removes him then it's one less nobody to protect his good players from claw palm so I certainly see the logic behind it um, it's not the way I tend to use dirty players obviously if I, did, if, I, if I had a bribe even if I had a bribe I might not go that way but I can you know um, yeah so we got three dice you see this one got hit anyway so hmm. 
don't know. But yeah, it, it's a, it's certainly fair, and especially if you think, you know, he doesn't mind losing the dirty player in the second half because he's got he's got three, three reserves. But I'm more concerned that he gave up a foul on the uh, on the on the claw pommer, which then got sent off. So yeah, it actually worked to his advantage that he didn't protect the claw pommer, didn't it? So. <laughs> I don't know, like, you know, it's it's a claw pom guy, isn't it? So, if he'd cast him, you know, who knows what this claw pom's going to do over the course of the match. It's it's a it's a tough one. I, I it's it's that's the horrible thing about claw pom, isn't it? Because he's made a cast there. He's made he, you know, he, he's turn one and he's made a cast. Although he, although he didn't his pylon didn't achieve anything. Turn 3 even. Turn 2. Oh yeah, there was a riot, so that's why I was wrong. Um, so it was Mull's first turn, he made a Kaz just by, not with a pylon, but with a foul. I don't know, I just hate having 11 players really, I guess. But, you can't, you can't, like, it's obviously not nice fouling him and getting sent off, but on the other hand, if he just lets him tee off every turn, that's also bad, isn't it? Huge removal there. Instant, instant, uh, instant apple. Because that was only fifty-fifty to work. But again, Mull's got the bench, so he only cares about quality of play, not number of players at this point, doesn't he? With three reserves. So I think it was, you know, you could argue both sides of the coin about appleing that, but I think it was a good apple. Though it looked a bad apple if he if he hadn't rolled it, if he hadn't got the badly hurt out of it. Away from tackle, dirty dingo. Doesn't mean we'll get stunned. So yeah, Mo's just gonna go for it as much attrition as possible. Probably will stop fouling now though without the dirty player. And if he can get in the way, he will. Uh, it's to do with Sony is why they don't have cross-platform, though having cross-platform would be amazing, obviously, because it does suck that the player base is split between three platforms for, like, matching and everything. Yeah. There was, there was maybe a chance of a hit on the ball there, you know, if he, if he blocked the other way here and stuff, but... Use the team reroll there. I was a bit early to use the reroll. I was a bit surprised that he did. But I guess it would have exposed the other gutter runner, wouldn't it? So it was it was quite important to not not take an armor roll on one gutter and expose the other gutter. That's a good point, Wayne. Because that really is a shame, isn't it? <laughs> well, thanks, Dark1210. Um, unfortunately, I always forget to run ads, so I just have them automated now, because that's easier for someone who's done like me. Alright, so you try a 6 plus dodge. Could he, could he do some kind of chain push here? He, he could have chained him. No, he would have been... He could have 4 plus... He could have run a gutter run around. One, no, he couldn't have. He could have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He could have run a gutter around and then chained him in. Oh, but he's got a guard anyway, so he couldn't have hit the ball. Yeah, Mo's just happy to shepherd him, 
shepherd him down, isn't he, and just make the attrition blitzes. Being able to tackle Mighty Blower, which elf is good. Yeah, the tackle, the tackle leap guard blitzes, a weird one, isn't he? I don't like. I would, I, you know, I think the leap on the Witch Elf isn't anywhere near as bad because she's got dodge anyway, but I, I couldn't not have dodge on somebody. So turn six. Oh. I was going to go there, but then decided against it. It's a gutter. That's pretty safe, isn't it? That that cage is incredibly safe, really. But again, it's turn it's turn turn six for Mole, so he doesn't really want to cage dive. But it's kind of hard to apply pressure, especially with this witch elf with the jump up threat. But it's just it's just going to blitz the mighty blow guy, mighty blow tackler. Claw upon him. Gets the removal. Skaven are disgusting though, aren't they? That he can essentially essentially Moles ignored the ball all half to this point. This is quite a good way of trying to neutralise the witch without letting somebody get served. But I uh, probably could have chained him. Could have blocked him, chained him, and then surfed with a witch, couldn't he? Could have surfed this gutter with a witch. I think I would have gone for that. Oh, the only thing is if you do that. Oh, no. You can move this guy in. Move an assist in there, block him, and then chain. Oh, he's got to surf. He's got to surf this gutter. Maybe that wasn't good by him, though. I would have surfed this gutter. I don't know about, I don't know about you, but I would have surfed that gutter runner for sure. No, I would try. I would try though, Donald Kellis. So he's got it really safe about from going in this way, but he's left he's left a bit of a through here. Way through here. In fact that last move fucked him, didn't it? Because if he'd stayed there, it'd be better, maybe. But I guess he's got sidestep to go back in here. Mm. But yeah, so now it's turn seven, do or die for more. Takes the push to so clear the space. And here we go. Dodges through the tackle. 3 plus 4 plus. Uphill block with wrestle strip. Sidestep to maybe the wrong square there. I think I would have gone back or even the corner so that he, if he caught it, he couldn't go in the corner like where he's gone. No, he couldn't go in the corner because he could scatter out. So you'd have to go here. I, I, I can't believe he went there. He should have gone here, shouldn't he? But then I guess it, ah, he was unlucky with the scatter. To be fair, any other scatter would have been in multiple top of his arms or something. Yeah, Christopher still there. So, gotta surf him and hope for a good bounce. Mull could have maybe ran someone down as a scoring threat for me last turn, but obviously safe at the... Imagine if he just caught it then. Wow, three tackle zones. He's got to go for a scatter at some point, hasn't he? Or maybe just try to... Oh yeah, get the guard in and just uh, clear this guy or something. Now I may as well try to dodge in and uh, clear him because you're more likely to clear him, aren't you? 
pick up as a four. I think I would have gone for gone for a dodge through here, three plus. So you could have blocked him away, and then you would have got a three plus pick up. So. Yeah, the line was one one dice, wasn't it? So you had to uh, you had to get another another thing, or you could have scattered it. But the scatter could have gone really badly. So Gets the cards, <laughs> but I mean that it was it was a good block by Mo. He had nothing to lose because you know he's got the reserves. So, although he was incredibly lucky getting the cards there, um, also he had nothing to lose by going for it. Even if he'd scored and died, it wouldn't have mattered. Right, so Chase Cam goes back with Molly D. Huge KO staying out there, isn't it, really? Um, dodge guard, Lionel, great player. So now he's down to eight players. Means Mole's 11. Looking bad. Yeah, exactly. That is... That is setting yourself up to be lucky, yeah. Obviously, he, would, he wouldn't have dreamt of making that block if he had 11 players. You know... But uh, no, this isn't the guy that I played. Uh, this is Muldrupster from PC versus uh, Sergo from PS4. Yeah, it was filthy. You got really lucky. You got incredibly lucky. But there was no risk to the block at all because he had the bench. But if he'd had 11, he wouldn't have made it, of course. Man. He's left this guy to get pawned, hasn't he? Which is, uh, I mean, he had to because he's only got eight people. <laughs> not, not a criticism. But this is the thing: like, if he'd done that by choice, given letting Blitz in by choice, you'd be like, "Oh, it's terrible." But obviously, with only eight guys, he's uh, he's up shit creek a bit. Kaz finally finally gets a Kaz with a core pot. Yeah, he is, isn't he, Johnny Five? Yeah. yeah, he has played. He has played approximately ten games in his life. <laughs> like some kind of cage isn't it I don't like that the, the, the guards here the guard should have been in front I think because now the, you can leap in and hit him if he'd, if he'd been behind the guard it would be much much better wouldn't it because this guy couldn't have leapt in behind so I think, I think that's a mistake by Mo I think these should be swapped position. He, just, he just let him leap in to two dice there or to one dice Two dice, yeah, I didn't like that. Should have been the other way around. Wrong Venga bus. Wrong Venga bus form for uh, for more. Uh, got lucky with the scatter though, didn't I? We guess to guess to palm him. Maybe he's could have greeted at that. But I guess not with further rolls to come in the turn. If if he if he didn't have to block him afterwards, I'm sure he'd have agreed at that to try and get rid of his uh, leap guy. Then he's got a leap rep, which is uh... I 
Pressure here, isn't he? So yeah, I think that was a mistake, man. In the interests of uh, of balanced commentary, maybe maybe making that. Oh, okay, making it was fine. One in nine, but maybe he's re-rolled. He got four. Haven't you? Maybe he could have re-rolled that. But then he's blodged it. He might have just gone into a worse spot by by getting blocked. Yeah, he got that guy down in the end anyway, which is the important thing. And now he gets the leap in again. But obviously he couldn't he couldn't cover him with guard because it randomly fell to the guard. Wow. Huge kill. Only in two tackle zones. So four plus pretty easy pickup. Not sure about the reroll there. Because the tackle makes the dodge out of fail. Oh, in no KO. Oh, unbelievable, Jeff. No, he was based by a tackler. I guess he had to. Uh... Ah, but then good use of the Apo, yeah. Maybe he should have Apoed in the first half. Um, maybe he could have Apoed that KO, but that was a good Apo. I guess he had a dodge away. Really. Maybe he had to re-roll the pickup because he's down away at players. Maybe he had to roll the pickup and re-roll it and go for the dodge. No, it's huge that you stunned though because now Mole can just pick it up and run away. I expect Mole to like go there and just run away. what I would have expected but he actually came back through here I guess th this way was just an easy 2 plus out that way wasn't it so and as it happened this is a huge boat down could have taken the push could have re-rolled it maybe he's could have re-rolled it maybe he's could have taken the push but the push gives him a 2 plus to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 but this way it gives me two two pluses to go through and hit the ball. So um I don't know. I don't know, maybe I would have uh maybe I would have done that. So he used his tackle and he blitzed this guy. What the fuck man? He used his reroll to escape the tackle, but he still had a dodge reroll, he could have just dodged through here and hit the ball, but instead hit this one. So I think that was really bad. Really bad there by Sergo. Maybe he tilted a bit or Something. Yeah, Ducky got pretty lucky, I guess, for his tackle to actually, you know, do anything. Although he got them, you know, in the right places. Still just one and two pluses, aren't they? Yeah, I can't believe he didn't go for the ball. I think that was an absolute mistake by uh, Sergo there. So, like, Sergo, the cage, when he made his cage down the bottom there, okay, we'll up here when we're looking at it this time. Um, when he made his cage, he made it safe coming around this way, but he, sorry, he made it safe coming in from behind, but he made it too, too easy to go through there, didn't he? So yeah, I think, uh, I think he made a bit of a mistake caging, and then obviously a huge mistake there, and he could just hit the ball. Yeah, exactly, Squirrel Dude, yeah. Three plus feet to get the ball, but not a two plus for the dodge for you. Yeah, that was really awful that he didn't, he didn't do that. Huge, huge removal again. Mull not even, not scoring or caging here, really. Just <laughs> banking on him hitting an irrelevant gutter.
Yeah, dodge on the top of my ankle for sure. Yeah, I think he's stuck kind of the wrong way a bit. <laughs> I can't see him. <laughs> Well, I think I think Mo definitely fucked up with the positioning of his guard in, in the cage in the Venger bus. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's 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 all be nice, everybody. No, no, no nastiness. <laughs> Like a claw mighty blow. So Mo just doing more things at this point, isn't he? Few cars, few KOs. Can't really keep the ball safe though. So we're probably gonna have to score. Or run back. Could have run back, but the witch is pretty pretty scary, isn't she really? Just Especially against uh Skaven, where it's a two dice and the the frenzy isn't really that bad. Picks up another Kaz. Blood Bowl's Mr. Two. Minutes. <laughs> this is the first PC versus PS4 game. Yeah, it is. I think Sergul did well there, and uh, to be honest, a bit of a mistake from Mole leaving the guard in the wrong place there. You know, having the guard behind the carrier didn't do anything, whereas having him in front of the carrier would have made it the leap, the leap play impossible. Um, but now he's got six players left and he's fucked. <laughs> so even if he scored and it went overtime, he'd still be fucked. I mean, to be fair, Sergal nearly punished Ducky's mis uh, du not Ducky Mole's mistake. Um, you know, he got the he got the leap in, um, but then the ball went to the gutter, and then he, he got the he popped the ball loose again, and then he just failed the two plus dodge out, didn't he? In, in the end, he had a four plus pickup, two plus dodge out, and he was down a lot of players. Uh, so he he nearly punished Mole's mistake, which I think it was a mistake. I'm not being mean to me. <laughs> But now and now he's just fucked though, isn't he? With the six players, there's nothing really, nothing really you can do. You can't maybe dodge all these guys out and try to screen around here. <laughs> no, not really, Jerry. Not really. <laughs> And yeah, it was just it was just one one real one real mistake, wasn't it, in the first half that he made, which was making it you know relying on tackle to uh, to stop the ball through, and and then yeah, he fucked up on the turn eight a little bit. He could have probably scored in turn eight with uh, with a bit better play. I mean, so I think he, he he messed up on turn eight, turn seven and eight. They're obviously the most crucial turns. He, yeah, he made a couple of mistakes. And, uh, Got punished. So yeah, Ducky can totally just reach with all the goals here. Wrestle strip. PS4 beat Xbox 4 1. So Xbox bow out of the tournament is 1 9. <laughs> um, you know, but we'll see what happens with PC versus PS4. Yeah, and how stupid is it that this guy is actually in range? Like, he looks miles away, but well, he is miles away. Yet, yeah, because he's a Skaven. There you go. 
well. See you later. Ridiculous, isn't it? Like, how, how stupid is that? It's just match play, yeah, with Bark, so yeah, so Xbox lost their both games. So it's uh so it's just down to the PS4 versus PC now to see who wins. Why shoe hands over extra arms? Because shoe hands is is infinitely, infinitely, infinitely better. <laughs> Basically. Um because this is res there's no team building aspect, like, you know, there's no preservation aspect. Um, the really, the only, the only boon to extra, this is a horrible leap at the end, I made shit free no easy. That was really, really horrible leap in. Um, it was a little bit tricky before that leap in. Yeah, sure hands protects against drip, yeah. And, so like extra, um, I still take sure hands Mipper. Um, yeah, because it was going to be a bit tricky to chain this guy. You know, like, he, he could have run around with the gutters and everything and, and, and blitz this guy. He could have blitzed this guy to chain out, but it's going to be just give him an easy one. Um, yeah, the, the only real upside to, uh, to extra arms is you can use it to skill your guys up. Like to receive passes to skill your guys up. Um, and this doesn't exist too. So yeah, show hands. Way, 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 way. Yeah, it's crazy scroll, dude. I remember when I when I did my uh, Skaven team. And I was like... you just surprised every time you click on them. you just like... What the fuck? Did he? Could he have sized up to a bad square for him? Alright, okay. <laughs> um, first skill in a minor play. I didn't get in enough bits to force me to play the absolutely horrible skill, and no, I didn't. If I did do them for before, I didn't I? And that's the end of the game. So 2 0. Moldy dominating both games. Obviously, you had loads of. Yeah, exactly. That's way too far. And you click and you're like, oh no, it's, it's just actually, I can go anywhere. It's crazy how fast gutters are. So yeah, you know, he actually got less AV breaks, despite having Claw Palm and Claw Mighty Blow. Obviously, uh, all of his guys are on the seven, so, you know, it's, uh, but double the arm, double the blocks. If anything, Mo was unlucky in, uh, in, in attrition there, probably. But that was huge KO there. The, the send off was huge, wasn't it? Uh, basically. That I, I honestly I think I think uh I think Sergal got the worse of the uh the worse of the look there. I do think he got the worse of the look. But I think, you know, Mull played still Mull played well enough, you know. Yeah. I don't think Mull's probably one mistake wasn't as bad as Sergal's several mistakes. You know, the the hitting not hitting the ball and and uh fluffing the scoring attempt. I think uh, I think Mull deserved to win. So congrats Mull and Team PC take the lead 1-0. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.